over to um, Tiusheng Wu, who will be sharing on using the GMAP Python package for interactive mapping with Earth Engine. Okay. Can you share my screen? Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Chu Sun Wu. I'm uh, an assistant professor at the University of Tennessee. And today I'm going to give you a brief introduction about a Python package that I developed during the past few weeks. And you can access my PowerPoint uh, slide using the QR code at the uh, lower right corner here, or you can just type uh, gishub.org uh, slash meetup. And I will also post my slides on Twitter later. So, um, and let's get started. So this is the outline. I will give you a brief introduction and then show you how to install the package and also show you some resources and tutorials how to um, get started. So uh, first of all, um, uh, GE map is basically a package for interactive mapping uh, with Earth Engine. Uh, when I first started using Earth Engine Python API, it was um, a little bit challenging because it's not as intuitive as the uh, JavaScript uh, co-editor. You can only print out some thumbnail. You cannot really visualize the data layers interactively. So, um, and I developed this package basically just to make it more uh, intu intuitive for Python users to use the OS engine. And it's primarily depends on uh, IPy leaflet and Folium. So, and also it runs on Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab. But I would like to point out that um, Google Colab right now does not support IPy leaflet yet. So it might support in the future, but uh, you can use uh, GE map if you're only running the computation. If you don't need to display the map, then you can use a uh, uh, Google Colab. Otherwise you need to run on Jupyter um, in order to do the mapping. So you can install using pip, uh, conda, or you can install from GitHub. And uh, because I update the package very frequently, sometimes if the functions are not available on uh, uh, pip or conda, you can install using uh, the function called update uh, underscore package uh, to update the information. And here is the uh, YouTube tutorial. Uh, so far I have uh, created 20 tutorials and you can uh, visit the link to uh, watch the tutorial. And I also post it on my GitHub so you can have access to all the videos um, if you don't have time for the video, you can watch the highlights, uh, the GF animation. And each tutorial also has a Jupyter Notebook, so you can link to each Jupyter Notebook to see the source code that I show in this tutorial. And um, so right now I only have 20, but if you want to learn more, I also have the other two repos. Uh, the first one with 360 Jupyter Notebook examples. Uh, the other one is 300 using uh, in QGIS. So you are welcome to explore those uh, repos. And lastly here, if you have any suggestions, you can uh, open a official request on my GitHub repo if you want to um, um, request something new. And lastly, I want to show you some key features that uh, if you're coming from JavaScript, you can um, just uh, copy and paste and then directly convert your JavaScript to uh, um, uh, Python and Jupyter Notebook. So you don't really need to convert by yourself. I have function for, for, for you to do automatic conversion. And if you have a bunch of scripts, you can also do it like a, uh, in a batch script to convert all your JavaScript to Python all at once. And you can also search and import data from the, uh, uh, um, the Earth Engine data catalog. So basically my goal is to import most of the things that you can do in the code editor to Jupyter Notebook so that you don't have to switch back and forth between those uh, two um, uh, platforms. You can also add customized Langen, uh, that uh, this one is not available in the code editor. So you can you can just one line of code, you can add a nice uh, uh, Langen to the map. You can also add XYZ type uh, maps or WMS. Also this one is not available on code editor and you can add a lot of these from the internet. Uh, so you have more options to use the base map. And also you can use the inspector to click and get all the uh, information. This, this one is similar to the co-editor. And lastly, you can do interactive plotting. Um, just click and then you can get um, the uh, graph for all the data layers. You can create animations, uh, just draw and uh, you don't need any coding. Just draw a rectangle and then you get it. 
And I think this is the last one you can do a split uh, panel map and you can visualize the changes for all kinds of layers. Only a, a few lines call, uh, so much easier than uh, JavaScript. And here's my contact information. Um, you're welcome to contact me via email or uh, leave a comment uh, on Twitter and or on my GitHub. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Tirshan. We have a question from the audience. Mm -hmm. um, they're asking, Sunita is asking if there is a tutorial on customizing charts or axes and multiple trend lines. Yes, that one is, uh, you can customize uh, using the, the plot function. So in the plot there, are, if you on the uh, uh, Jupyter notebook, you just hit uh, shift tab on your keyboard and then you bring up those parameters that you can customize. So you can customize uh, different uh, line plot or scatter plot or bar plot. You can also customize those axes like what you can do using a uh, map plot. Dip. So it's the, using the package called VQ plot. Um, I can certainly make another tutorial to show you how to uh, customize those uh, functions uh, if, you, if needed. Thank you very much, Tushan. Mm -hmm.